Nichols. It's Mrs. Young. Together, we're going to read Sky Color. You're going to need a few things. The first thing is your My Book. Make sure it's My Book 5. Then I want you to grab your highlighter and a pencil in case we find something we want to annotate. All right, you're going to open up to page 138. And we're going to start on the page that says prepare to read sky color. Our first part is our genre study. Today we're reading a story that's a realistic fiction story. And remember that realistic fiction stories are made up, but could happen in real life. So today as we read, we're going to look for three things. The first one, characters who act and talk like real people. The second one, events that could really happen. And the third, ways, pictures, and words help you understand the story. All right, let's set our purpose for today. Today we're going to read to make smart guesses or what's called inferences about things the author does not say in the story. So you have to make an inference with the clues in the story and clues you know in your head. So use what you know, use those clues in the text and in the pictures. Before we get started, we have four power words. Let's review the power words. Our first one is artist. Say artist. Artist. An artist is a person who makes pictures and other art. The artist painted a colorful picture. Boys and girls, I know all of you are artists. I have seen your paintings. Let's go to the next one. Say gallery. Gallery. A gallery is a place where people look at art. We looked at paintings at the art gallery. Sometimes our bulletin boards in the hallway can be an art gallery because that's where we like to hang a lot of special artwork. Our next word is mural. Say mural. A mural is a big painting that is often made on a wall. We like the big mural painted on the wall. So another mural I can think of at school might be our Be Kind mural. That's kind of a mural on our Hendrix wall. Go to our last word, rummaged. Say rummaged. If you rummaged, you used your hands to move things around as you look for something. Something I want you to rummage through is our lost and found the last day of school. If you've lost something, I want you to rummage through it and see if you can find something in the lost and found. Okay, we're going to turn the page. Now, mine has an introduction to our author and illustrator. So you're going to pause here and just listen to Peter Reynolds. He is going to give us some audio to listen to so we can find out more about him. Remember, he is the author and the illustrator of Sky Color. All right, listen in. Peter H. Reynolds likes to work with children as much as he likes to draw and write. He says helping kids and grown-up kids to draw, write, feel brave, and get inspired are his favorite things to do. When he's not inspiring others to be creative, Mr. Reynolds draws and writes picture books. He likes to be barefoot while he works. Sometimes his characters have bare feet, too. Ooh, I love that about him. Okay, bare feet, I'm going to look for that. Maybe that'll come up in the story. But pictures and drawings. I think this is going to be exciting. 
All right, I'm going to catch up with you now. You should be on this page, Sky Color by Peter H. Reynolds. Just look at the font. Look at all those rainbow colors. And I see a little girl on the front cover. Look at her feet. She's barefoot. Aha, now I know what he meant by barefoot. Okay, let's turn the page. I want you to stop and look for a minute at all the wonderful illustrations. And I spy with my little eye two highlighted words that are our power words. This one right here, and this one right here. All right, I'm gonna get ready to read. And the way we're going to be reading today is we're gonna be starting from top to bottom and then switch over to the other side. You can see Mrs. Young's little bubble might get in your way, so I'm gonna move myself over when that happens so you can see everything, okay? All right, let's begin. I want you to follow with your finger and be thinking today about our read to find out question. Our read to find out question today is, how did Maricel's new way of thinking help her solve her problem? So she's gonna have a problem in this story. We're gonna see how her new way of thinking can help her solve her problem. All right, get your fingers ready. Maricel was an artist. She loved to draw and paint. She even had her very own art gallery. Let's move down. Not all her art hung in a gallery. Much of it she shared with the world. And to the other side. She painted posters to share ideas she believed in. I'm gonna move mine so I can see. At school, Marisol was famous for her creative clothes, her box of art supplies, and her belief that everybody was an artist. I love this page. I want you to look at the words and the pictures and I want you to be thinking, what does Marisol hang in her gallery? Yeah, pictures. Look at all those beautiful pictures. And where is her art gallery? I recognize that because I've asked you to take home a lot of your artwork and hang it on the refrigerator in the kitchen for the whole family to see. So I love that she's used her refrigerator for her pictures and I can see she's putting them up with magnets. That's wonderful. So I want you to also ask yourself, how do you think Maricel feels about her artwork? The author didn't tell us, but I want you to look for clues and see, hmm, how do you think she feels about it? If she hangs it on her gallery, on the refrigerator, if she paints it and shares it with the world, if she paints posters she believes in, and also if she is creative. I mean, I see a little toolbox in her hand with a paintbrush and a paint set. Think of a word that might describe how Maricel feels about her artwork. I might say proud. So were you thinking of something like that? Great job. All right, we're gonna turn to the next page. All right, Mrs. Young is in the middle. I think I'll stay here. Now, here's Mrs. Young. Oh no, maybe that's Maricel's teacher. Okay, here we go. 
Yes, Maricel was an artist through and through. So when her teacher told the class they were going to paint a mural for the library, Maricel couldn't wait to begin. Head to the next page and start with the classroom buzzed with the sound of brainstorming. The students talked and sketched. Together, they made a great big drawing. Look at that big drawing on that piece of butcher paper. Keep reading. Then, they marched to the library. I'll paint a fish. I'll paint one too. I'll paint the ocean. Marisol shouted, I'll paint the sky. So I want you to stop and take a look at the pictures and the text and another power word popped up. Say mural, mural. Now I think that mural was that big piece of artwork. So I have a feeling this big piece of paper here is going to be their mural. Now, on this page, I want you to make some inferences. I want you to ask yourself, how do the children feel about making that mural? You can see in the pictures, or maybe you can hear in the words you heard them talk and say. So if you said excited, I would agree with you or some other word that might mean the same as excited. So here's where we're going to look for some things in the pictures. I want you to look at all the kids with smiles on their faces. Do you see all those smiles? That tells me they're excited, they're smiling. And also the text is giving me some evidence that they're excited because they were all shouting out in their voices what they wanted to paint on the mural. So I think this might be a place where we can underline or highlight. So grab your pencil or your highlighter and let's reread the bottom part. The bottom part we'll reread together and let's find some words the kids said that proved to us they were excited. Then they march to the library. I'll paint a fish. I'll paint one too. I'll paint the ocean. Marisol shouted, I'll paint the sky. So there's some proof there. I'm going to highlight the words the kids said and notice those are in quotation marks. So I'm gonna get some color to those. So hopefully that'll pop out for me. Get your highlighter, highlight the things the kids said that proved they were excited about painting this mural. And notice those quotation marks around what they've said. All right, let's move on to the next page. All right, I'm gonna move myself out of the way a bit. And, oh, I spy with my eye another one of our power words. So look at this one, get your mouth ready when we get there. All right, now remember, listen up, point to the words and let's be thinking. Marisol rummaged through the box of paint, but could not find any blue. How am I going to make the sky without blue paint? The bell rang. It was time to put their brushes down for the day. As she climbed aboard the bus, Maricel kept wondering. I want you to stop just for a moment and look at Maricel's hands here. She's saying, how am I going to make the sky without blue paint? I think we found our problem, boys and girls. 
She's looking for blue and she can't find blue. She needs blue for her sky. All right, let's read. And I'm gonna scoot up so I can see the bottom part. All the way home, she start, stared out the window. Oops, I made a mistake there. Let's go back and reread that. Would you help Mrs. Young with that? Ready? All the way home, she stared out the window. I can see her staring. Get to the next page. Ready? The sun lowered closer to the horizon. All right, let's turn the page. Wow, just take a moment to look. There's two very different pictures on these pages. Love them both. All right, I'm gonna scoot up a bit so I can hear the words. And I think I can stay right here in the middle. All right, get your finger ready. And let's read. Later at home, Maricel watched day turn into night. Now, when you watch day turn into night, there's a special word for that. If you're thinking of a sunset, that's what I'm saying too. All right, let's go to the next page. Let's get ready. That night, Marisol settled into a deep dream. I love this page because on one side I'm seeing such a colorful sky and on the other page I'm seeing such a dark sky. What a difference in the sky from one page to the other. And I just love her bedroom, don't you? I love all the artwork. Look at the window seat. She can sit there and watch out her window at night. I see a toolbox, a paint palette, drawing pads, paint brushes. I just love her room. Now I want you to be real quiet while she's dreaming, okay? Shh. And I want you to predict what she might be dreaming about. And I want you to also remember our read to find out question. Our read to find out question is, how did Maricel's new way of thinking help her solve her problem? All right, did you make a prediction about what you think she might be having a deep dream about? I wonder if it's gonna help her. Here we go. Turn to the next page. Wow. Just take a look at that. Love this page. All right, let's read. Get your finger ready. She drifted through a sky swirling with colors. The colors mixed, making too many to count. Boys and girls, this is Maricel in her dream. And I think I've already highlighted some really important words about what she's dreaming about. So I have highlighted a sky swirling with colors, the colors mixed. If you wanna grab your highlighter or your pencil and underline or highlight those words, that is what I see her dreaming about. Did you predict she was going to dream about something like this? I wonder if it's going to help her solve her problem. Look at her little hands floating in the air. She's too cute. She's still barefoot too, huh? All right. Let's get ready to turn to the next page. All right, here we go. I think I can stay right in the middle. Now let's take a look. 
Get your finger ready. In the morning, Marisol stood waiting for the bus in the rain. The sky was not blue. She smiled. Look at that smile. At school, Maricel raced to the library. She grabbed a dish and began adding colors. This one, that one. She swirled the brush to make an altogether new color. I'm going to move myself out of the way a bit. Maricel then began painting on the wall. A boy asked, what color is that? That, Marisol said, that is sky color. Now look at this page. I didn't want to forget this part here. So I have highlighted this sentence that says, the sky was not blue. So remember in the morning when she was catching the bus, it was raining. And she said the sky was not blue, but she smiled. I think that's a clue. So if we turn the page and see what that color is, let's find out. That is sky color. Wow, let me get out of the way so you can see that. Look at all of the kids ooing and aahing. I bet they're so proud of their mural. And look at the sky. I see all colors mixed and swirling together. I see the ocean and the fish jumping out. I even see some stars in the sky. So boys and girls, Maricel had a problem. She gave us some clues to let us think how she's solving her problem. So I want you to think, how did Maricel's new way of thinking help her solve her problem? Now, I think maybe her dream helped. You'll notice that when her dream was floating in her head, all those colors were swirling. I think that gave Maricel a clue or an idea to use for her sky. She realized a sky doesn't always have to be blue. A sky can be so many different colors. Thank you, boys and girls, for reading with me today. I hope that we have found some information inside our book that you can now go back and look into to use for your activity page for today when it asks you, how did Maricel's new way of thinking help solve her problem? I think her dream gave her some clues. That rainy day sky also gave her a clue and it inspired her to try something new in her sky. Bye boys and girls. Thank you for joining me today.